today we are drawing our penguin. So make sure that once the folder holders pass out the paper, you have it vertical, top to bottom. Supply manager is gonna grab the crowns off the cart. Give everybody a crown. You're gonna write your name and your oops, teacher's code. Please, I will remind you what your code is. Once you write your name and your code, please return the crown to the cup. The cup goes back to the cart. Once we have our name, we're gonna flip it over, again, keeping it vertical. And make sure that you have your paint mat because we're gonna be practicing with our next supply on the paint mat. Now I talked about, this is an ink dauber. Inside of here is ink. You will twist to the top. This is the only part that comes off. This stays on there. Please do not lose the top. Make sure you put it off to the side of your paper. Not like this, because it will roll off. Make sure you put it flat. Now, if this top is already black, that means the ink has already made its way to our little dauber. You don't have to squeeze this to get ink, or it's just gonna blob out. So we're gonna practice on our paint mat. Now, don't move your paper and practice here and then move your paper back, or you're gonna get black ink. Leave your paper where it is. We're gonna practice above our paper because if you practice below the paper, you're gonna get it all over your arm. So you're just gonna carefully push down on the dauber and move it and see how much comes out. Again, I'm not squeezing this. I just pushed on the paper and moved it. So you just need to see how much pressure you need to put down because if you push too hard, you can see more ink came out there. So practice two or three times so you get the hang of how hard you need to push down on the paper to get the ink out. Okay, so now we're gonna move to our penguin. The penguin we practiced in our sketchbook is the exact penguin we are drawing today. So we're gonna start at the top, we're gonna come down a little bit. This is the top of his hat, which is a circle. Coming off the circle, we're gonna draw two diagonal lines and then a horizontal line. Then we're gonna draw two vertical lines coming off and another horizontal. There is our hat for our penguin. Then we're gonna draw some vertical lines inside there for a design. Right in the middle, we're gonna add a little tiny triangle coming off. Penguins have this little black part, which it's hiding. And then we're gonna add the color, we're gonna color it in. Again, that's not its beak, it's part of its head. Now we're gonna add two circles for the eyes. And then figure out how you want his eyes to look. I'm gonna make mine looking down. Then we're gonna do a triangle below, right in the middle, for his beak. Now we're gonna put the top of the scarf, which is a curved line right under the beak. Then we're gonna make two vertical lines coming off. Another curved line to connect, so that's his scarf. Then we're gonna add some more lines in the middle. Now his head, we're gonna start on this corner of the hat and curve to the top of the scarf. Now we're gonna darken these lines, which means you're gonna go over it to make them a little bit thicker. Moving down, we're gonna finish off the scarf two vertical lines, connect with the horizontal line, then add horizontal lines. And then we're gonna finish off. We're not gonna have the whole body, obviously we won't have the feet. So we're just gonna finish off the body. So start on the corner of your scarf, take curved line down, other corner, curved line down, we're gonna do the same thing we did up here. We're gonna make these thicker. And then his flippers. So you can create the flippers. Do you want a flipper pointing up and a flipper pointing down? Do you want two flippers pointing down? So think about how you want his flippers. You're gonna start right where the scarf and the body are. 
a curved, and then obviously I'm gonna make this one pointing down. It's a point. A flipper should have a point. I'm gonna have both of mine facing down. I really don't have room to face it up. And then because his flippers are black, we're gonna color that in black. Okay, we have finished our penguin. So take your ink dauber, please find your top, screw it on tight. I will be coming around to pick these up from your table. Um, we're gonna let our penguin dry because it is ink, wet ink. So please listen, I will be calling your tables to the drying rack um, to put this on the drying rack. And then next week we'll be adding some color to our penguin.